the whole concept of, of shape-shifting just blows my mind. So that's one of the reasons I really love this. Because I also feel like, to a certain degree, that's kind of what you guys have to do as actors. You're sort of shape-shifting into someone else. What's the biggest physical transformation you've ever made for a role? Ah. I, mean, I think you have to yeah. speak that guy. Yeah, we right. <laughs> well, I did sort of five hours of prosthetic makeup for the character of Peter Wayland in Prometheus. That was pretty extreme. Yeah. But of course, you know, Priscilla, we were talking about mm. before, that's, mm. there was, that was quite a physical transformation because of the costume and all the makeup as well. So that's usually the, unless there's something else I'm missing out. <laughs> it's not if you transform so much that you can't remember it. It does yeah. help. Yeah. It really does help in a way. And on some level, doing something like this, it's, it's you know, it's, it's much more difficult because it's, Purely on your on your your, your own, it's yeah. your performance. You know, when you can rely on costume and makeup, then half your work's yeah. done. Right, you, you know? this it's on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, one of the things that I you know I kind of was thinking about you know this this couple that sort of all of a sudden they they, they go out on their own and then they <laughs> discover that one of them has something let's say weird or interesting about them. Yeah. If someone were going to date you, what is the most interesting thing they would discover about you down the line? <laughs> Wait, interesting good or interesting bad? You tell me. <laughs> it's just like open to interpretation. <laughs> I, th I don't know. It's a hard question to answer. I feel like <laughs> that's right. It's like any. Give us your most strange personal quality <laughs> right now. They're all in front of the world. I just I feel like know, that's like that's the, um... the the beauty of who we are. We don't probably know like. 100% of who yeah, we are. Yeah, it's probably totally and normal to us. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. You discover yeah. things normal about yourself being. when you are searching, searching through somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, searching for identity, like, that's that's something we deal with every single day, mm -hmm. you know, so... Um, well, the interesting thing about this is it's a sort of an extreme version of what we actually can do with ourselves yeah, when we're yeah, around yeah. other people and you find yourself becoming, you know, you become a bit of a sponge and you can actually sort of take on the qualities of somebody else. And it's easy for us to lose our footing sometimes, you know, in, in all sorts of situations. We can be sort of bullied into a situation and we think, hang yeah. on, that's not what I yeah. wanted. That's not what I believe. That's what, not what I, how did I go along with that? Especially that happen, you when know? you've got, you know, these characters who are young and... Uh, impressionable they're, they're coming of age and and they're going on this journey of trying to figure out who they are and along that route they're going to take make certain choices that mm. they will have to find out the consequences mm. about but i think that's the beauty of being young and and fearless and um a sense of vulnerability as well where you kind of just take take mm. lead on your instinct really. mm. but i guess it's also the difficulty too that i i feel like the majority of people, unless you have a very clear idea of who you are, which most people don't, that you, you have certain ideas about yourself and what yeah. you want for your life and who you are yes. as a person and yeah. where you fit in the world. And, and it's something it tends to happen, something dramatic happens and, and you suddenly have to change all yeah. of that, which right. yeah. is, right. is what happens in the show. I guess. That's why I love this show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the reasons I love TV these days is because you, over the course of multiple episodes <laughs> and multiple years, you yeah. really get to know these characters. Unlike, you know, with a movie, you've got two hours for a person. Guy Pierce has played so many amazing characters in film throughout your career. If you could pick one of his characters Absolutely. to see over the course of multiple episodes or multiple seasons, <laughs> which one would you like to see? Uh, to get to know? I mean, Priscilla, right? That's got to yeah, be. Yeah, what like happened a, to yeah. Felicia? Yeah, all those what, years later. I, wanna, I would pay to see that TV show. <laughs> yeah, well, there's an idea. Netflix? Okay. <laughs> That's right. If only anyone, we were surrounded by someone that could make I know, it happen. People with decision making powers. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's a good call. Is, yeah. is that who you are? Uh, dude, like, any, anything that Guy. Does turns to gold, so I, I'm. I'm it, I'd like yeah, to. Can we just like sit and, and like? like suck <laughs> up, like, sit <laughs> 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 Could you do multiple seasons of Memento? Would that work? Or start? Well, the, the weird the thing show? is, you'd be go you'd be going backwards. You'd, you'd eventually just sort of dissolve, yeah. disappear. Yeah, wouldn't yeah, you? yeah. You'd just disappear and dissolve. That's going to be too psychological. People would just freak out, wouldn't they? Yeah. We like going into a black hole and <laughs> never coming back out. My mind just freaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 